Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is my response to a viewer who wrote seeking my help with a problem that he had with the formula. Now when I hear formula problem, my first instinct is to go up to the formulas tab on the ribbon and consider using one of the formula auditing uh, tools that we have over here. But as I read the email, I realized that the viewer did not have a problem with the formula. Instead, he had a problem with the results of the formula. The viewer is trying to calculate a monthly payment, and he was correctly using the PMT function with the correct arguments. He was expecting a monthly payment in this neighborhood. Instead, this was the result. So this is the result that the viewer had of the problem. So I realized it wasn't a problem with the formula, it was a problem with the results. Now before I show you how to solve this, let's just review the arguments for using the PMT function. So when you want to calculate, in this case, the monthly payment, use the PMT function, which has three required arguments. The viewer was correctly using the syntax. The first argument is point to the cell that contains the interest rate. Now remember, we're calculating a monthly payment, so we want to take the annual interest rate, 8%, and divide it by 12. The second required argument, and again, the viewer was correctly pointing to the cell that contained the number of monthly payments, 36 monthly payments. And the third required argument is called present value, in other words, the amount that he was going to borrow. Once again, he pointed correctly to the cell, and he was expecting a result to be in this neighborhood. Now, just as a side note, if you do not make this modification when you use the PMT function, the result is going to be a negative value, which is correct. It's going to be money coming out of your checking account. When you prefer to see a positive value as the result, this is one way to do that. Insert a negative sign or a minus sign in between the equal sign and PMT. All right, now, how did this result come about? When you have a problem with the result of a formula, I suggest that you use the Goal Seek tool. You find the Goal Seek tool on the Data tab of the ribbon over here in Data Tools, and it's a drop down from What If Analysis. So here's what I did I took the inputs in the formula and I copied it and then pasted it three times. Remember, the PMT function has three arguments. So to find where the problem was with the result, I'm going to use Goal Seek down here on this cell that contains the formula. And each time, I'll substitute one value. So this is the way it works. This is the result that the viewer obtained. So that's going to be my goal, and I'm going to find out which of the three inputs was the problem. So with this cell selected, I'll come up to Data tab of the ribbon, come over in Data Tools, What If Analysis, choose Goal Seek. Now, this is the set cell, the cell that contains the formula. So the value was 10,666.67. Now, what do I want to change? In this case, I'm going to change the input for the cell that contains the amount borrowed. So I'm going to point to this cell, the PV. And now when I click here, click OK, well, he would have had to borrow $340,000 to have that monthly payment. All right, let's come over here and see if it's the interest rate. So once again, select the cell with the formula, data, goal seat. All right, once again, that's the cell that we want the goal to be, 10,666.67. And what cell are we going to change? I've named this change the interest rate. So I'm going to point to this cell, click OK, click OK. Ha ha, there you go. You see the problem? Instead of it being 8%, he incorrectly had the cell formatted to return 800%. So there is how the Goal Seek tool isolated the problem. Now to continue, of course, the third would again be to use the Goal Seek, and this time the value that we, we, that we would substitute would be the repayment term. So there I use Goal Seek to trace the error. The problem was not with the formula, he had a results problem. When you have a results problem, use the What If Analysis tool called Goal Seek. And I have a lesson on Goal Seek on my DVD, The 50 Best Tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.